Welcome, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, and I have the pleasure of introducing my friend Yvonne here. Uh, it'll be telling us about SAM. And uh, you can tell me how, what SAM stands for, or is that yeah. nice? All right. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Take it. <laughs> I just had to ask her since uh, she's at, at SAM now, I had to ask, is SAM an acronym for something? And she says for surveying and mapping. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Yvonne, like I said, is a good friend of mine. She's uh, joined SAM just recently in, in 2021. I guess that's fairly recently, 2021. Yeah, yeah. So it's been since we've seen each other. Yeah. Um, but she's joined as a senior project manager there. In addition to managing a variety of transportation, municipal, and utility projects, she's responsible for uh, managing SAM's orthophotography projects in North Carolina ortho ortho imagery program. Uh, she is a professional land surveyor in the state of North Carolina, a GIS surveyor in the state of South Carolina, and a GISP. Lots of little ribbons there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yvonne has over 23 years of experience in the geospatial industry with an emphasis on aerophotogrammetry and LIDAR and is a graduate of the University of North Carolina at Charlotte with a BS in Earth Sciences. I'm really looking forward to this, Yvonne. All right. Take it away. Well, thank you, Dale. So good morning, everyone. Um, so uh, as Dale mentioned, uh, I'm from SAM, Surveying and Mapping. And just a little side note to that acronym there, uh, not only does it stand for Surveying and Mapping, it's also the first name of uh, the, uh, the, the guy who started the company, Sam Hanna. Um, so, uh, not sure if you're aware, but uh, Sam is one of the new exhibitors and sponsors for the NCGIS conference that Tim was mentioning in the opening plenary yesterday. Um, so as a new sponsor, I would like to thank you all for coming out to learn a little bit more about Sam. Um, we are a new addition to uh, the orthophotography team for the statewide collection. Uh, we started on that program last year in 2022 and um, continue to be on that program this year. And so we're really excited to be part of that and working with many of your uh, data coming up. So as I mentioned, uh, I'm Sam's uh, project manager for that program and have been with Sam for a couple years now. I uh, work out of our Charlotte office. We do have um, an international reach um, and over 40 offices in the US, um, plus one in Canada. Uh, we've got over a staff of over 1,400 employees. Um, so we are a very large program, very quickly growing program within the country. Uh, and, and as I mentioned, Sam was founded by Sam Hanna in 1994. Uh, Mr. Hanna set the bar really high for quality products and services uh, while pushing new technologies as a way to ensure we provide our customers with the needed um, and most effective, it, that we ensure that we provide our clients with the, uh, the data that they needed in the most effect, effective manner possible. Um, that's a tradition that's continued beyond his retirement in 2017. Sam's companies have, Sam Companies has continued to grow into one of the nation's largest geospatial and construction service providers. Um, so, Sam has um, more than 250 crews that we deploy on a daily basis uh, to collect field data, um, conduct surveys and, and that sort of thing. We have expert technologists in GIS, um, photogrammetrists, licensed surveyors. Uh, I believe we have over, I wanna say over 140 licensed surveyors right now. Um, that um, cover, I believe, 43 states, if I'm not mistaken. We provide a um, vast um, variety of services 
including land surveying, as we mentioned, GIS, aerial mapping, um, all sorts of construction services and utility engineering services, et cetera. We uh, service all sorts of markets, any market that has a geospatial presence, we are in that market. Transportation, we work with a lot of DOTs across the country. Um, utilities, we deploy lots of field uh, personnel in uh, various uh, lo localities to collect utility data. We uh, host that data, we um, provide um, uh, other similar services to local governments, land development companies, energy companies, et cetera. So, um, so as I mentioned uh, earlier, our historical roots are in surveying. And as you might imagine, uh, we provide a full range of survey services. Everything from traditional boundary, topo or ALTA surveys, uh, to high detailed scanning and subsurface utility surveys. Uh, for, for our SUE projects, we follow ASCE standard guidelines for the collection of existing subsurface utility data. And uh, whether that is water, sewer, natural gas, electric, telecom, or other assets lo located below ground, SAM has expertise and technology to locate and map those features within any of the, any of the accuracy specs required for the project. Um, one other interesting note about SAM, we are the second largest Trimble user in the country. So we are keeping them busy. <laughs> and they're keeping us busy with their equipment. <laughs> So um, moving on to aerial mapping, um, one thing about SAM that is, is really fantastic from my perspective is that we are able to perform simultaneous collection of aerial and LIDAR data. Uh, we have multiple, um, multiple sensor uh, arrangements within our assets so that we can collect both um, ortho imagery, uh, and oblique imagery uh, along with LIDAR. And this helps kind of make us a lot more efficient on the collection side. Uh, we also do thermal imaging as well. Um, we collect LIDAR from um, various um, platforms, both airborne and um, and on the ground. Uh, we have multiple, um, multiple fixed wing and rotary wing assets that we utilize on a daily basis. Um, pretty much any day of the week, um, you can guarantee that there is a SAM asset in the air collecting data at, the, at any given time. Um, we also have um, a fleet of UAS that we have stationed across the country. Um, our operation toolkit is a, an internal program that we developed to help us deploy uh, UAS across the country whenever our customers needed uh, sort of last minute data or something that just doesn't make sense to have a large uh, fixed wing asset in the air. Uh, we have over, I want to say over 30 um, licensed and um, trained UAS pilots that can deploy these assets for us whenever we need them. Uh, we also utilize uh, mobile platforms to collect LIDAR. Um, and you can see um, a picture in the top right. That's one of our platforms where we're collecting mobile LIDAR. Um, in addition to that, we also have um, other methods to collect that, whether it's um, mounted on a tripod or hand, a handheld device like a backpack. Um, I think you, you might have seen somebody walking around with a slam backpack the other day. That's kind of, we, we do that as well. Don't have a picture of that here, but um, 
That is something else that we do. So we produce um, traditional orthophotography, um, uh, oblique photography, and again, um, in, a various, in various forms um, of collection, whether fixed plane, uh, fixed wing plane or helicopter UAS. Um, here you can see an example of an oblique image that was taken from um, our Cessna 208, where we have uh, oblique and, na and nadir imagery being collected along with high density LIDAR. Um, our oblique system is uh, gyro stabilized. We have a couple configurations that we can um, that we can use to collect that oblique imagery. One's the traditional four way where we've got the, the cardinal direction um, of those images, northeast, west, and south. Um, and the other configuration is a forward and aft um, at a high resolution. Um, so in addition to you know, all of that, um, we provide a variety of GIS services to our customers. Many of them are very small local governments. Um, we uh, not only collect data uh, in the field or aerially, um, we also help with designing their, um, their management systems for the data or hosting the systems for them. Um, we um, provide many training options, um, tech support, help them integrate their systems, uh, consolidate their data, et cetera. Um, we provide any, pretty much any GIS consulting um, sort of service that you could think of to our customers. And we are a, an Esri Silver business partner. Um, we, uh, again, work with a lot of local governments and utilities, educational institutions. Um, very recently, we, um, I think I actually have a picture. Pretty recently, we were in a local school in Missouri, and you can see the picture on the far right. Um, we perform some indoor mapping using one of our sensors to help them map out their facilities. So that's the, that is something that we are doing a little bit more of recently. Um, and while I'm scrolling through, I meant to mention the picture in the lower right corner. You can see our um, are set up in one of our planes. Um, that is a, a Regal LiDAR system. All of our LiDAR systems are Regal. Um, Regal is widely known throughout the industry as having the highest quality uh, LiDAR data available in the industry. Um, and again, picking up on what I mentioned earlier about Sam Hanna and his insistence on using highest quality, highest, te highest quality tech and advanced tech. Um, that's something that we, we definitely rely upon and continue with uh, to this day, and that's one of the reasons we rely heavily upon Regal. We like to have all of our systems set up in the same way so that uh, our processing can be streamlined um, and uh, efficient. Um, and then just to kind of summarize, um, we have um, a large pool of talent, uh, domestic talent internal to SAM that we um, uh, rely upon for um, allowing us to maintain flexibility with our project scheduling um, while ensuring that all the data we process for our customers remain, uh, remains in the US. Um, the vast majority of our data is collected and processed by SAM staff we do maintain a pool of trusted domestic partners to enhance our capabilities 
during our busiest times, however. Um, we also maintain our own data center with redundancy and offsite in cloud storage. And with that, I believe I'm finished. That was pretty quick. Um, are there any questions? No? Okay. Well, if I can't answer any questions, please stop by booth 24. Myself and Trip Corbin are there. Uh, we'd be glad to um, answer any questions. Thank you. <laughs>